Shalom guys and Hag Samayak Shavuot and Tena Koto, Tena Koto, Tena Koto Katoa. That is a greeting in Māori from New Zealand to all our listeners. My name is Pastor Michael from New Zealand, Auckland, from Hen Hamashia. I'd like to acknowledge our rabbis, Rabbi Shapiro and Rabbi Bernstein, and a big shout out, Baruch Hashem, to all the teachers today. Now, the night of the bride, I'd like to turn to our scripture in Revelations chapter 7, verse 9. And I only want to share on two points, one in the beginning and one at the end. The first one is after this. The second one is at the end of verse 9, dressed in white robes. We will first address the white robes. Now the white robes are, is not the physical white robe, but it's talking about the spirituality. The spiritual righteous condition of the soul. Now we in New Zealand and Alkahila, we're searching as individuals for the condition of our soul. We're searching as a community for the condition of our soul. And in Matthew chapter 7, 13, Yeshua says, Go in through the narrow gate, for the gate that leads to destruction is wide, and the road broad, and many travel it. But it is a narrow gate and a hard road that yields to life, and only a few find it. Now this is a circle within a circle. We have the destructive path. And within it, we have that narrow gate. Now, we are reaching out to those that are in the destructive pathway. Why? Because not so long ago, we were part of that destructive circle. But today is Shavuot. It's a blessed day because the Torah has been received, given and had been received. The narrow gate for us nations has been revealed to us. And the outcome of the narrow gate has brought us into the authentic white robe. Now I pray that scripture has the attention of those who are in the destructive pathway. And yet they believe that they are in line for the white robe. That is where once upon a time we were. Now our scripture for today is Romans 10 verse 20. That says, moreover, Yesha Yahu boldly says, I was found by those who were not looking for me. I became known to those who did not ask for me. Now, if you think that the scripture is pointing to the nations, you're wrong. Because Rabbi, Sh Rabbi Shol, sorry, says that he has taken this verse from Isaiah chapter 65, verse 1. And then he says, for us to go search the condition of Israel out at that time. So in Isaiah 64 verse 6, it gives us the condition of Israel out. It begins with all of us. That includes Israel and the foreigners that have, foreigners that have joined with them. 
but like someone unclean. Okay? And we're talking about the soul here. Scripture says, all our righteous deeds. Now we're talking about the mitzvahs, the commands of Hashem, the Torah. And he describes it as this. They are like menstrual rags, filthy rags. We wither, all of us, like leaves, and our misdeeds blow us away like the wind. At this point, spiritually, Israel was spiraling down towards destruction. Now this is on a scale of a nation. And we must understand and must remember that Israel are in covenant with Hashem. And the covenant is Torah. Now we return to the present time. Now before we could walk in Revelation 7 9, before we walked in Revelation 7 9, we walked through the destruction path. We walked through what Yeshua said was here. We walked through the gate that leads to destruction is wide and the road broad, and many travel. Now Isaiah writes about it here in Isaiah 64 verse 6. Yeshua speaks about it in the narrow and the destructive pathway. The gospel shouts out about it. Torahless, Torahless, Torahless. Lawlessness, lawlessness. Now, in the destructive circle that once upon a time we were circling, and those that are hearing that are still in their pathway, we are holding hands. We were, we were holding hands. Our learnings and our teachings. We were confident that we were part of the dress of the crowd dressed in white robes. Wrong. We had created a duplicate of the authentic white robe. A fake robe. The wrong robe. According to Isaiah, Filthy rags. We do not have the mitzvahs in our learning. We do not have the Torah in our teaching. And we sure didn't have the relationship with our Jewish brothers. Now the scripture of Romans 10, 20. It speaks of sending messengers to point out the narrow gate. In Isaiah chapter 65, verse 1, it says, I, the Holy One, was found by those, referring to the prophets, Isaiah, who were not looking for me. They were sealed for the servants as the servants of God. I became known to those who did not ask for me. Now God, through his servants, the prophets, in this case Isaiah, was bringing the message of hope to Israel through Teshuvah to redemption, to guide them from their filthy rags to a garment of holiness through Torah. Isaiah was on a nation scale, but on a worldwide scale. Moreover, Yeshua, Yeshua Yehu boldly says this, in Romans 20 verse 10, 10 verse 20, it says, I, Yeshua HaMashiach, was found by those. Who were those? Prophets? No, the 144,000, who carry on and continue the work of Isaiah as a messenger. And they were not looking for me, but they were sealed with the servant of God. To be the servants of God. I became known to those who did not ask for me. The message of the authentic white robe can only come from Israel. Here is our card. Here 
to the nations, to those that are listening to me, that are on the path of the on the path of destruction, and believe that they are in line for the for the white road. Here is the, your outcome. Here is my outcome from walking in circles on the broad road. So, our listeners who are still walking the merry-go-round, here is an opportunity to get off. They had Isaiah, they had Rabbi Shaul, they had God's messengers. Revelation has 144,000 sealed for the messenger servant of God. We have Rabbi Shapiro and Rabbi Bernstein. And we are off the merry-go-round and we've rid ourselves of some of those filthy rags, those fake robes, the wrong robe. And we are still in a work in progress till the end. That when it comes to this point in verse 9, after this, after this I looked, and there before me was a huge crowd. That huge crowd, we truly count ourselves on the path of the multitude dressed in the white robes. Then it carries on, it says, from every nation, tribe, people, and language. Our Kahila, we have different ethnicities, Pacific Islanders, we have Maoris, Tongans, Samoans, we have different languages. But let us, our soul, our soul is nurtured through the Torah through the words of Hashem, by the messages of Hashem, which cultivates our souls through its servants and to be one with Israel and grafted. So for the listeners today, this is a message that there are those that have entered into the path of destruction to give us the signs to the narrow pathway. This is one of those messages. We are here to enter into the destructive pathway so that we can bring our brothers and sisters into a narrow pathway so that they can understand the true, the true meaning of the gospel through Israel and through the power of the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh. So on this day of Shavuot, we commemorate the giving of the Torah, but we also agree to renew ourselves with the Torah, to put our hands up and say, I will do and I will hear. And we have done that this day. We have recognized Shabbat as a nation and we have come to an agreement with Israel that we have joined in the covenant with Hashem of Mount Sinai. And I pray that you also, if you are in doubt, come to Rabbi Shapiro, Rabbi Bernstein, Shavu, Yeshiva, and to the Hama and search the true gospel so that you would also leave the merry-go-round of the circle of destruction and enter into the narrow path so that you can waltz into chapter 7 verse 9 after this and then be dressed in the white robes these things we pray in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen.